So much of South Texas did see a little bit of rain today, but ranchers in the area have not seen much at all during the entire summer. They say this little bit of rain today is not nearly enough to completely restore their pastures. Our Madeline Dart shows us how the drought is taking a toll on our farms and ranches. So it already takes a lot to raise cattle just like these ones, but experts say farmers should take into account this inevitable Texas heat and droughts to take care of your herd. <laughs> Rancher Harvey Buring calls in his cattle as they take shelter from the sweltering temperatures. Then he gives them feed because his pasture is drying out. This year we are in a deficit of, of uh, rainfall. It caused our pastures to decline much more rapidly than they normally do. Buring is referring to a hot and dry summer. He says ranchers across South Texas are starting to turn to alternative ways to keep their herds alive. Even though grain prices are low, uh, manufactured feed is around $400 a ton and so you have to watch your nickels. Luckily, Buring prepares for dry spells. Jason Ott with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension says it's something every experienced farmer should do. They need to be looking at those critical times when uh, forage production uh, needs to be maximized and, and making some observations as far as rainfall. And whenever we get into to dry periods of time, uh, it is important to adjust your stocking rates. Something that Buring has already done. So far, he's relocated eight of his cows to other ranchers land. Start marketing calves earlier, uh, start culling some of your older animals, taking them out of the production. And if all else fails. Trying to do your best to hold things together if it doesn't rain for another month. Jason says it's also important to prepare for hopefully some rain later on this fall to make sure your grass absorbs it and doesn't let it run off. Reporting from Orange Grove, Madeline Dart, 3 News.